white bagging is the distribution of patient specific uh, medication from a pharmacy, typically specialty pharmacy, uh, to the physician's office. Um, and, um, you know, I think that the, the, the thing that sticks out to me is it where doesn't white bagging and brown bagging and clear bagging, where doesn't it happen and why? And it doesn't happen with Medicare prescriptions. And, and, the, and the next question is why? And the reason why is there's a federal any willing provider law that allows the patient to go to their, their physician that dispenses a drug. It allows that physician, that oncologist to dispense a drug directly to the patient and so the PBMs know they can't white, brown, or clear bag in that situation. Uh, and that's because of a clear federal law. There's also state laws for any willing provider laws, but not in every state. And then there's the ERISA plans where the state laws don't apply. So the first question, the first issue is white, brown, and clear bagging only happens with non-Medicare scripts. And PBMs are, are doing it for profit. There's a lot of problems with this mandated you know, brown bagging. There are safety issues. Um, there are financial burdens that also that that patients have um, that you know the the physicians office help with. Um, there's the physicians don't get paid to um, you know anything when there's a white or brown bagging. So there's a financial burden you know on the and an unpaid expense on the physician side. There's also as you know there's waste. So a lot particularly with cancer care more so maybe than any other area of uh, therapeutic class, there, the, there's a constant, uh, I don't know if tinkering is the right word, but strengths and, um, and, and there's, uh, there's very dangerous medications. And so the physicians are, are constantly uh, changing therapies. And when they can more closely monitor uh, the dispensing, they can, they can eliminate or control that waste. There's, there's board of pharmacy issues. You know, wh who's, the board looks at all this and it's like, well, who's dispensing it? Uh, who's treating the patient? There's some confusion there. Um, I should also mention there are state patient anti-steering laws. So there are many states in which PBMs are not permitted to steer the patient in in one way. And finally, there's there are uh, with this mandatory brown bagging, there are sometimes billing issues um, where you know it's not clear who bills what. And then finally, track and trace. There's the uh, there's there's pedigree issues. As you know, there's the you know the Drug Quality Security Act. And you have to carefully trace where does the drug uh, come from, who has handled that drug. And, um, and so there are some serious track and trace issues. And my final, final thought on brown bagging is value-based care. If you're an oncologist and you're taking risk on a patient, um, you want to make sure you get the best result. If some other PBM mail order is sending the prescription, it's coming late, it's not uh, the delivery of it, 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 you know, it could, it could, the, there's not proper cold state chain storage. The physician uh, oncologist that's taking risk could lose out, not even because of their own behavior. So there's a lot of problems with brown bagging. And there are also some solutions. I mean, Co has been really active in trying to fight it.